It's beer on the clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Lindheim Old Company and it's loads of acid Bolina Weiss. This beer is coming in at 4.7% ABV and it was kindly sent from our friend over in Norway, Helge. Thank you very much, Helge. Uh, there's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. It's a first, first for me from this brewery. Uh, I like firsts. Lots of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Slightly hazy as you want from a Berliner of Ice. Nicely carbonated. It's a one finger white head. As I said, slightly hazy and wow, the aroma is fantastic. A lovely almost kind of salty lemon aroma coming on. Oh, that smells wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Proper lemon. I'm gonna dive into this one. It smells superb, superb stuff. Cheers. Wow. Oh my goodness me. That is so sour, that is, to be honest, that's refreshing. Um, that is just what I need after the day, a long day. Um, come home, crack a good beer, and poof, it wakes you up instantly. That's what beer's all about. A lovely, kind of sparkling wine feel in the mouth. Um, there's a little bit of apple and there's a little bit of grape, there's a lot of lemon. And that sourness is just mouth puckeringly brilliant. Yeah, a really good beer. Drinkability wise, um, that carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's a lovely sensation of the, that carbonation. I think it adds to the flavour of the beer because it kind of explodes on the tongue and then you get all of them flavours being pushed around the inside of the mouth. It's really good stuff. Drinkability wise, uh, again, you're getting lots of flavour. Um, this beer would be predominantly from the yeast. Unless there's some added, there might be some added fruit in this one, I'm not sure. But you get a little bit of, I'm just, as I was speaking then, you get a little bit of the wheat coming through as well. So, as I take it, a Bolina Weiss is a beer that's, it's infected, uh, then they age it, and then the infection actually turns the beer into a really nice tasting beer over time. Um, it must have been, it must have been kind of worked out by accident, complete accident. One of those great accidents in life where uh, somebody kind of takes it and they're like, oh God, don't like that, it's completely gone. And then they've left the other barrel in the back of the brewery for years on end. Then they try it and they go, oh wow, that tastes really good. Um, and I like, I like kind of stories like that in beer. I like, I like, um, I like the, the science in beer. There's lots of different science in beer. Um, some beers you have to drink fresh, some beers you have to age to, to fully appreciate the, the kind of the, the flavour in the beer. But yeah, a wonderful beer. Um, I'm really impressed. Um, as I always am with, with Norwegian beer, there's lots of great beer from Norway now. Um, Linda, Lindheim Olk Company, established in 2013, so they're only two years old. Uh, Something about yoghurt here on the back. Uh, it's all in Norwegian so that I can't really work out too much as to what's going on but there's the loads of acid there, there's a picture of them. Right, I'm gonna give this beer a rating. Cheers. I think it's smashing. There's so much going on, it's grapey. It's it's lovely and lemony. It's a little bit of kiwi fruit in it as well, and that sourness is just absolutely fantastic. That kind of sharpness, it just really kind of well, it's woke me up. I was kind of 
Um, a little bit tired to be honest, but after that, bing, I'm back on the ball. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10, I think it's fantastic. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer, put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers. And thank you to Hells.